Three, two, one. We are live from Kuala Lumpur this time with Money joining us and Money from Kuala Lumpur is going to try and get to the pose, which is Me Azad who pose. And Me she's Azad who. Me Azad who. Me Azad who. Now, the, the, the pronunciation uh, flavor which comes from somebody who's been in Kuala Lumpur for 18 years <laughs> uh it's 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 nice for people to has a different one and she's got a little little loving doggy at her hand which we can hear in the background at times making some noise so mani hearty welcome to the gdt interview mai azadu series and uh, it's a pleasure to have you join from maybe pan samundar par okay <laughs> a land which is maybe four five seas away uh do share about uh, yourself what you do in Uh, in that country uh, since the 18 years and then maybe we'll look at your reversal journey and of course you have cleared gdt and that's a big thing we'll we'll talk about that also so all over to you please go ahead hi everyone um i'm uh, mani megli subramaniam i'm living in kuala lumpur malaysia um uh, i'm uh, teaching uh, in one of a uh, public school here uh, I'm uh, shifted to KL since I got married and uh, I we've been living in KL for about uh, 18 years and uh, my husband's family are from here KL itself so um, and then uh, I got uh, two kids the eldest is uh, Vishwaraj and the second is a daughter and uh, I'm 40 years 48 years old now Hey hey what did you say what did you say i didn't hear that i'm 48 years old now couldn't hear it <laughs> 48 years old doctor look i don't i get don't get to hear that last word which you said 48, 48 years young i understand 48 48 years young yeah exactly always huh yes exactly <sighs> good living so, happily Yeah, she's been a part of sixty-eight batch. Here comes money for everybody. Kuala Lumpur as a teacher uh, since two thousand eighteen. You had diabetes, so not very long. Maybe some uh, Ayurvedic medicines were going on. You became free in May. Okay, that's nice. And uh, the interesting part is you maintain your BMI. You've never been obese. You've never been overweight. So not about twenty-five BMI. Not about thirty BMI. You have been a fit BMI all along, twenty-three, and I think that's an inspiration for many, many people because what stories they get to hear many a times. Oh, I lost ten kgs. I lost twenty kgs. I lost thirty kgs, and here I'm free. And here is somebody who's saying, "I have been there all along at twenty-three BMI. I maintained the BMI, and still, not only I've been free, I've cleared GDD. So uh, your fastings have come down to." Almost five point five. So if you multiply it by eighteen, which is what in India we do, um, it comes to around ninety nine or so, ninety to ninety nine, um, whatever uh, uh, milligram per deciliter, and HB one C is down to five point eight, which is excellent money. So to share, how did you manage not to lose weight and still to become free and still clear GDD? Because many people who are on the thinner side they they feel you know is this the story only of people who are overweight who reverse uh, and that's not the case in, in, with you so tell us the secrets what happened i did lost uh, some weight doctor and i was like um, from 50 i went to 48 kg i lost about 2 kg when i joined ffp um, and then um, I gained weight again because I looked so skinny. So I maintained the twenty-three BMI, and then um, it was very tough for me actually to maintain the twenty-three BMI. Food, exercise, and then the mental uh, management—everything has to come together for me to accept all these kind of uh, protocols and maintain everything. I mean, definitely the twenty-three BMI it was so very tough. It was tough. So you went down two kgs. You gained back two kgs. Yes, I gained back two kgs. How many months did you take to gain back those two?
two tough kgs which you had lost that was about uh, four to five months doctor yes so that that's that's a, a, a challenge for everybody we 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 always tell it money you might remember that it is going to be half a kg per month yes yes but to go through that entire month with all the effort you take on the diet and the exercise and mental management and then you said half a kg again and then four or five months have gone i know it 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 is a game of patience and it's a game of perseverance and you've done that we're so happy with that my question with that is has there been a shift in the fat versus muscle percentage in terms of the weight gain that has happened or you feel it's similar it's a muscle gain doctor it's a muscle gain yes it's a muscle gain that's what it uh, it was about uh, four months period for me to gain uh, the 2 kg it, it was very difficult for me and uh, i have a chick at the moment now what have you had chick chick the chicks ha huh? the chicks yeah last time it was like a bit uh, flatten a bit now i have okay the chicks have kind of come up a bit and you're feeling good about that yes yes definitely doctor yeah yeah for a lady hair and face and overall appearance and for whether it's lady or or a gentleman for everyone i think we all need to be aesthetically looking great and feeling great about our bodies and i'm glad that you you could do it so uh, in your exercise front um, what has happened are you doing weights are you doing um, what uh, more which has helped to gain the weight are you doing surya namaskaras what's your athletic uh, identity if you identified it and what kind of exercise have been going on i've been uh, doing my exercises uh, like schedules uh, four days uh, i go for walking for about 5000 to 7000 steps and then the rest of the days uh, i'll go for um, what is that uh, the muscle building exercises Uh, normally i use uh, dumbbells 2.5 kg dumbbells okay um it was very tough for me at, at the beginning to use the 2.5 but i somehow i managed i increased the uh what do i what we call the uh, from 5 to 10 and then from 10 to 12 and then i repeat first and then i repeated second and then i repeated for the third time so it it took for me time but i managed and i could uh, uh after that i did some uh, yoga this uh, surya namaskaram and all the uh, other postures as well and i did all this came together of actually <laughs> so did you pick up dumbbells for the first time in the program or you've done it before first time in the program okay you are a teacher right yes so how how do your students receive you because you've got this energy and aura of peace and you know you know kind of composure and the rate of words with which you're speaking right now and coming across so i'm just getting curious how do your students receive you actually when the school reopened they were surprised to see me doctor that's the word they they were surprised um with my attire and then uh, physically the change of uh, physical and then the face and they really loved it uh, whenever i walk into the school everyone in the school will be watching me wow. yes w- what a change uh, what is this and all this kind of many of them i inspired many of them wow so so you got a lot of compliments for all the good work that you've done yes doctor definitely and i i still connect with the number of times you use the word difficult i think five times maybe you use the word so all those who are watching please note uh reversal there is effort involved in it there is discipline there's perseverance there's patience there is balancing there's integrating diet exercise in a transformation all of that and we've got a wonderful example in front of us uh with us uh mani ji from malaysia not very long standing diabetic but not very overweight also already fit doing so well so one more question is coming to me right now is how easy or difficult was it to follow 
us from Pune, India, online, uh, timings are different, consultation, group sessions. How do you manage all that? How do you find all that? All those challenges. I could manage, doctor. That was not a problem for me. Okay. And um, just a difference of two and a half. Two and a half hours, I guess. And um, the morning uh, meditation, the morning meditation, the, that will be the problem for me. I'll be here, will be like 7.30 in the morning. But then I managed to wake up earlier than uh, India timing. So I managed that. And the other um, like office hours, definitely uh, my uh, doctor, my dietitian, my uh, exercise expert, my mentor, everyone, I contact, uh, get connected with them, uh, the office hours time, India timing. Yes. So it like, worked, worked comfortably for you with a with little bit of awareness and adjustment. Very yes. nice. Very nice. So what, what's, what's the message you want to give it to everyone who live overseas or are like you? I think there's a huge crowd out there between... 40s and 55s around menopause or ladies who may not be overweight, some of them may be overweight and they're struggling with diabetes and want to become healthy and free. What's your message to all those wonderful ladies? I would say give a try. Give a try that uh, we definitely can achieve good health if we give a try. Belief in yourself. That's what I would say. Um, and then uh, my family, they have a history of diabetic. I wanted to break the barrier actually and I, and I did it. That's what I wanted to do. I really feel happy for this. I hope everyone will, you know, they will have uh, what, courage to reverse the diabetic. It's much needed. It's much needed. We've got some wonderful souls from Malaysia, from Hong Kong, from Singapore who have joined, who've passed glucose tolerance test, many from Australia, New Zealand also now. And of course, US has been the, the biggest uh, number um, who've been following. Middle East has been there. Europe has been there. So it's, it's, it's a delight for us also here from India to be able to serve our own brothers, sisters across the world and uh, offer a nice year-long, playful, enjoyable journey uh, on all fronts, diet and exercise and meditation and inner transformation. So great. Thank you very much for trusting us and joining in and being a part of the 68 batch and kind of making such wonderful progress. Uh, Mani, this is the first year you've passed to post tolerance test. Yes, doctor. Okay, and this has to be a ritual every year. Okay, it has to be a ritual everywhere. You you kind of keep enjoying the process. Those who those who pass GTD, we urge this. Okay, never get overconfident. Okay, uh, keep yourself fit. Keep certain basics going. The warning sign is three kg weight gain for those who lost weight. So if you become from fifty to fifty three, fifty four, then you need to be alert whether it's going too much. If you go from fifty to forty seven, again not good. So those kind of ranges you keep and uh, keep going on and on, keep learning and keep inspiring. And we are very happy that you've inspired so many people. Keep, keep spreading the word of good health to as many people as you can. So big thanks, Maniji. And it's such a pleasure to have you. Have a nice, soft May Azad with you. Yay. May Azad too. So nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, Bye. 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 Take care.